Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor. Today, I'm very excited because we have a very special guest. Her name is Joyce Moran. And Joyce is a coach. She's a health coach. And she's not only a health coach, but she specializes in functional medicine. And she works for Youth Theory. And she helps people with different areas and different conditions. And with the usage of supplements, it helps them to overcome certain conditions and make themselves feel better and even prevent some conditions from occurring. So so today we're going to talk briefly about her, about what she does, and we're going to talk about some uh, issues that are going on right now that she has some great suggestions for. Before we begin, I just want to give a shout out to dmaworld.com. They are a uh, marketing consultant agency who help small businesses become big businesses. What they do is they don't like when big businesses, marketing companies start to scam those small businesses that are starting out. They work with these small businesses, help them grow at a reasonable cost and help them become the businesses that they are destined to become. So once again, it's dma.com and they are a marketing uh, consultant agency. I, it's dmaworld.com. I just made a little mistake there. So I just want to correct myself before we begin. Now, I'd like to go back to Joyce because she is the star of the show today and she has so much to tell us. I'm very excited to have you on the show, Joyce. Tell everybody a little about you and what you do because it's very exciting to me, all this stuff. Well, first of all, thank you so much for having me. And yes, I do. I love you're already getting excited about it because <laughs> I'm excited about it all the time. But so I've been um, in the natural products industry for the past 18 years. Prior to that, I was an educator in the, in the uh, private school system, and I also had raised five kids. So part of my whole journey has been that, <laughs> raising the kids health in a healthy way. And then also just really um, my own personal health journey that led me to really come to this place to work as a training and education manager for this wonderful company, Youth Theory, where we really inspire wellness and all. That's really our, a large part of our mission. And so that's where we are today. Now, you were mentioning before the show, you were talking about stress and the importance of stress, especially around this time, because when the holidays come, people just get so overwhelmed. And I'm one of them because, you know, when it comes soon, you know, I love the holidays, but then I got to think about all the things I have to get done. I think about the finances, how much is everything's going to cost and everything that it entails. And all of a sudden, all that joy goes out the window because stress just overwhelms me. Now, you know, you have some great ideas on how people can manage their stress during the holidays and actually be able to kind of get through the holidays in a positive way and not get overwhelmed, you know, and, you know, so they can actually enjoy the holidays. Yeah. So your concerns and the way you feel is how so many people feel. I feel like everyone is so, I mean, the levels of stress are already at such a high, and then we're going into the holiday season at the same time. So we've already got people coming in with that level of stress. And then it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's even, you know, expanded as we're, as we're entering into the holiday. So, you know, there's so many great natural ways to deal with stress, you know, earthing, you know, just walking your feet on the beach or walking yeah. on the grass and obviously yoga, meditation, breathing, we forget about breathing, right? We, yes. Just sitting back and taking the time to breathe. So I think it's, you know, eating healthy, all those things, getting enough sleep, which is very hard for people now. Right. Um, we do see a huge growing need for one particular ingredient, which is one of one product of ours, but also just the ingredient of ashwagandha. Yeah. So years ago, you know, this is a revered herb. It's actually called Indian ginseng. It's been used for thousands of years yes. in Ayurvedic medicine. So they were very smart a thousand, you know, thousands of years ago to yeah. start pulling these roots and actually using them medicinally, which is, which is awesome. So it really, this particular ingredient has just really expanded um, into our lives in the past couple of years, because it has a great way of addressing stress in the body. I love ashwagandha because it, it is, it gives such a common feeling. I use it myself and it, you see a difference. You see a difference when you take it. And, you know, and I like how you incorporate it also that it's not just taking the supplement, but it's also a lifestyle change too. We have to, you know, 
ashwagandha will help you tremendously, but we also have to take time for ourselves, especially if we're going to talk about the holidays or stressful situations, because life is stressful in general, you know, meditation, maybe in the morning or even the night, whenever you have time, 15 minutes of your time can make a whole difference of your focus and clarity. And then just your, the foods you eat, along with, you know, maybe just walking outside, breathing the fresh air, you know, and just looking around, seeing the trees and just appreciating life itself and take incorporating ashwagandha into your life. All these things combined can really make a huge impact on how you function as a person and how it can actually change your your mind, body and, and spirit, just the way you feel about yourself and overall look upon life. Absolutely. I love the way you're talking about incorporating it, incorporating everything together. Because again, there's no magic bullet, right? There's right. not one thing that we can do that's going to address all the stress in our body. You know, our body is naturally meant to have stressors. I mean, yeah. there we, we have a stress response for a reason. Yeah. You know, that your flight thing everybody refers to. I think you mentioned seeing an in, unusual animal in your neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> that could cause that fight or flight, you know, it yeah. would make our body respond. And that has to do with like our HPA access. So that gets activated. But what happens is when we're having constant stress, it stays activated. Yes. And when that stays activated, then several other things happen in our body, like our cortisol levels build up. Yes. It's supposed to release cortisol and epinephrine, which is a good thing. But when they don't stop, then like cortisol, we get too high of cortisol levels. And then that contributes to brain fog, which causes more stress. And yes. Or people start feeling like they can't lose weight, you know, because they have excess cortisol and it's accumulating more weight around their waist in their right. body. We don't want that. So to be able to have an adaptogenic herb that yeah. can really access that system and have an impact on that system to reduce stress in the body, to lower your stress level, lower your cortisol levels and give you what you just said, that calm, yeah, you know, calming thing. The thing about ashwagandha is, um, you know, it's an adaptogen. So adaptogens, you know, basically are anything that help us, any herb or natural remedy that helps respond to our stress response. Yes. And they have to be non-toxic and non-habit forming. So they're very safe ways to incorporate things like ashwagandha into your life. Yeah. Um, safe. And what happens is as you take them, I know you said you've been taking some of the ashwagandha and you're feeling that. Yeah. You get a better response over time. So the longer you take it, your body starts coming into that balance, that homeostasis. Yeah. And one day you'll wake up and you'll go, wow, I actually am just waking up ready to embrace the day. Yeah. But it, also, it also gives you energy. So it's the calming part without making you drowsy and tired, but also giving you that level of energy that you need to get throughout your day. Right. And I think energy is key, you know, because a lot of times when you're under stress also, that can make you feel very fatigued. You know, a lot of people don't realize it, but not only do you get, you know, it, it, it raises your cortisol level, it changes, you know, your clarity and your focus, you know, it, it, it also drains you, you know, you start to get so absorbed in all these negative emotions and the way you're feeling you kind of, it just drains you emotionally and you're not able to, to function properly. And, you know, I, I love that you have, you have the B12, B6. Now I've been taking your capsules cause I, I am a true believer in you theory. Cause I've, I've been, you know, it was introduced to me um, actually by a PR agent and they sent me a whole bunch, but once I started taking them, I noticed a complete difference. They actually worked and I felt the difference. So I actually became, you know, a repeat customer because <laughs> I love your stuff. I really do. Now you came out with, it. it is a, uh, the B12, B6, which is great for energy. And I was wondering, because this one, you came out with a liquid form, which, you know, I've always taken your capsules. I haven't tried your liquid form yet. But can you explain to me how it's used and the difference between the liquid? Is the liquid more potent than the capsules or do you just drink this? Like, how do you use it? 
That's a great, great question. So the capsules of the liquid are formulated exactly the same. So they have the exact dosing. The B12, important point here is the B12 that we use is the methocobalamin form, a thousand milligrams. And why that's important is that's the way it's naturally made in your body. So if yes. you're putting it in the natural way, your body's going to be able to absorb that and utilize it more effectively. So that's super important to it. And there's a lot of benefits, even with, you know, around energy surrounding, surrounding around energy, but other things related to B12, like a um, healthy homocysteine levels, which are very much an indicator indicator for like really good cardiovascular health, you know, things like that. Right. But anyway, back to your question, they're formulated the same. Now this B12, B6, if you drink that packet, you may feel that energy pretty quickly into mm -hmm. your body where the capsule will just take a little bit longer um, to go into your body, but it's still going to have that dissolution. You know, we, we still test everything to make sure it's dissolving within the amount of time and that the ingredients are absorbed. And you made a really good point about you theory that I want to just speak to just because it's really important across any, any supplement company, but yeah, always choose to use uh, the best patented ingredients and science backed ingredients because of just what you said, <laughs> we want them to be efficacious. Yeah. And if you something and it doesn't work you're never going to take it again exactly and it's really improve your wellness because these aren't a one day I feel better I'm all better I've addressed stress sleep you know mood yeah. everything in my body right you need to take them over time that's how vitamins and supplements work right as opposed to a drug per se so really important point there yeah you know I I've learned over time like because me I'm a health coach. And, and one of the things people would say, well, what vitamins do I get? Or what supplements do I get? And I'm like, well, you know, you really have to look at the back of ingredients. Many people just buy vitamins and they don't even look in the back of the ingredients. Like we're flooded, you know, uh, the, the supplement industry is just flooded with all these different brands. Anybody can put brands up, you know, it's not that hard, but you have to look at the back of the ingredients. And I always say, if you can't pronounce it, then obviously it's not good for you. You know, that's, that's the best way to do it. The easiest way to do it, because sure. it really, there's so people, there's so many companies that use fillers and you know, the, 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 the main ingredient that you're, you're buying that supplement or vitamin for, it has the least, a lot of times I'll notice it has such a small amount and then it has a whole concoction of all these other things. But you're, let's say you're buying the, a B vitamin, you're only getting maybe like a couple hundred milligrams and then there's all these other things. And it's like, well, you know, how, how is that going to help me? You know, and you see that all the time in our industry. Well, that's great that you, first of all, pointed out to other people as well and use that as your guide. It would be the same thing with food, right? We would right. look at food ingredients in that way. But in the same way, we want whatever we would call the driver of the formula, right. you know, the thing that's really going to make the formula work. We want it to be in that efficacious dose that has science-backed um, you know, has research behind it. So we're basing it on those clinical studies so that we, we know we can assure that effectiveness will work in that particular thing. And, and, you know, it's a waste of money. Obviously money is really precious now, right? Yeah. So oh, for sure. You don't want to be buying things that you're going to just toss right out again. Cause they don't work. Yeah. <laughs> so, very, you know, very true. You know, and I also noticed too, like you came out with a sleep powder, which I think is great. And the sleep powder is great, I think, because I don't know about you, but when it comes to sleep, when I have a lot of things on my mind, especially we're talking about holidays or maybe people just work related, you know, you're thinking about the next project you got to do, or you're thinking about what you have to do tomorrow. People have so much stress and so many things going on. Like I use, I, you know, over time I've gotten better, but I used to constantly think about the next day. Okay. Tomorrow I got to do this and this and this and this. And it, I would end up tossing and turning during the night and I wouldn't get to bed till like really late at night. And then I would be exhausted in the morning and, you know, sleep is such an important necessity in, in people's lives. I don't think people realize how important sleep is because with a lack of sleep, 
a lot of things could happen health wise, you know, you need those seven to eight hours of sleep. It's, it's vital for your body. Absolutely. You are, you are so spot on there. And, and that is what it is. You know, it is kind of the stress factor. Some people have sleep issues anyway, Yeah. but largely can be due to, to dealing with stress. And then you've got that brain chatter going on, trying as you're trying to go to sleep and, and you never really get into that deep sleep. Like if you don't get into our, uh, REM sleep, you're not really, when you're dreaming the good part of the sleep, yeah. that you're really, you know, when you have crazy or really great dreams, Yeah. Uh, but you really need to get to that point. So this, the sleep powder was formulated, um, with all of that in mind. So it really helps you to fall asleep, have really good quality of sleep, and then to wake up feeling not exhausted. And if I can just speak to a couple things that are in there that might might um, be of interest to people that really make it different. Yeah. Um, you know, melatonin, everybody's heard of melatonin. And what we have is melatonin is a hormone in our body. And it's in it, um, naturally is produced in an adult at about 0.3 milligrams a day mm -hmm. or younger. It's like 0. 0.5 to 0. 0.8, but as it levels off as we're yes. an adult. So it's a hormone. So if we take higher and higher doses of melatonin, we get dependency, we get tolerance, and we also get this horrible hangover effect, yes. which is not fun. No, it feels like you have a hangover. You're tired. You're, you can't focus you know, so you're just not going to be productive the next day. So maybe you slept, yeah. you know, you slept hard. Um, it also, people talk about having crazy dreams. So the way that this particular product was formulated was with what we call a micro dose or a physiological dose of melatonin. Yeah. So exactly what your body makes. So it's not going to overtake your body's own production. And in that way, it will help over time to really reset your circadian rhythm or your body clock so that you can fall asleep, kind of what you're speaking about, kind right. of fall asleep well, and then wake up feeling refreshed over time. So yeah. that's one of many ingredients, but that is that is one key part of that formula. Now, can you take the ashwagandha and the sleep at night? So like you take the ashwagandha in the morning for calmness and you would take, can you take the sleep at night or is that going to make someone too tired in the next day? Or does it work and blend really nicely? Because by the time the ashwagandha wears off, you're taking your sleep to help you go to sleep at night. Yes, yeah, such a great question. Yeah, they're very safe to take with one another. Um, just to speak to the ashwagandha, it actually has, um, we use KSM 66 ashwagandha, and then we add some other organic ashwagandha root powder. That's the gold standard of ashwagandha, and it has 24 different clinical studies. And one of them is around sleep. So as much as it gives you that calmness, it can also yeah. help on the side of sleep. So just to let you know, that won't interact in a different way. Um, the sleep powder really targets different areas where like the, it has 5-HTP, it has, um, oh my gosh, it's got L-theanine in it for that Zen-like relaxation. 5-HTP yeah. and the, um, oh my goodness, I'm blanking on my ingredient here. Oh, Whether that's okay. Powder, the same amino L-tryptophan, yeah, that amino acid that's in Turkey, right? Where you mm -hmm. fall asleep because it's yes. Thanksgiving. And you eat a bunch of turkey because yeah. it's, it's got that in it. And those tryptophan and the 5-HTP are both precursors to serotonin production. And you need that serotonin to yes. sleep. It also serotonin also helps to um, increase your serotonin levels. Um, I mean, melatonin levels. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Those are so those are two very separate different ways of uh, addressing things in your body because the sleep powder is not going to work as an adaptogen. Mm -hmm. It's going to work more on those brain chemicals, um, increasing alpha Zen brain waves. And it also has L-glycine in it. And L-glycine is actually a large part of collagen. Yeah. So sometimes people go, I take collagen at night and I sleep really well. And I go, great, because it's got L-glycine in it, but yeah. it's not in there for that reason. Right. But Glycine, when you do the correct dosing like we have in there, it actually helps with taking away those symptoms when you wake up the next day of sleep deprivation. So, right. Yeah. So you can absolutely safely take both of those. 
Um, we would call it stacking. That's kind of a stacking. That's a new term with stacking supplements throughout the day. Safely. Yeah. Safely. Right. Then that's safely. the key, you know, because I think some people have to read the back and they, you know, some people take more than what they're supposed to. And they have to realize that supplements is, is just like a medication you know, and people have to realize how powerful supplements are. And a lot of times pharmaceutical companies will put supplements in their medications because it works so well, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, so people have to realize that, you know, you have to go by the directions and also make sure if you have, if you're taking a cholesterol medication or a, a heart medication or for depression or for epilepsy, whatever the case may be, if you have a chronic illness that you're dealing with, make sure that you could take these supplements as well, you know, because sometimes certain, certain things can interact. So you always want to be on the safe side. Absolutely. You want to make sure there's no contraindications and, you know, and we, we always say, and it's on every bottle in the supplement and, you know, check with your doctor before taking this med, you know, this supplement as, as well as with a medication. Although we prefer people to not be able to have to do all those pharmaceuticals, but you yeah. know, some they're a necessary thing in our lives. So we want to be very cautious in that area to make sure it's safe. Exactly. And what I love about the sleep powder is that it has, you know, people, I don't think a lot of people realize that when you do take melatonin for a long time, one, it does, you know, it does decrease our melatonin level as we get old, older. And so people automatically start taking melatonin, but they don't realize after a while, I hear so many people say, well, it's not working anymore. And it's because they built up a tolerance to it. But I love how you have certain ingredients blended together so you can increase the serotonin level in your body that will produce the ability to get a good night's sleep. I think that's brilliant. Yes, it, it's awesome. It's a great formula. And I see you have the berry flavor. We also have a lemon mm -hmm. lime flavor. Oh, do you I really? One that is sold on Costco.com. Um, that's in our, it's in our e -com. Uh, offerings, you know, dot com on Costco. Yeah. And then we also have the sleep powder that you can find in, you know, all different grocery stores and larger of our natural retailers or on our website, utheory.com. So two flavors. And the good thing is, and it's easy to take. I do want to speak one quick thing to that too. Yeah. But you take it half an hour before bedtime as you've done, you've tried it. So mm -hmm. mix it in a little bit of water or a little bit of juice. I'm not a juice drinker, but if you do <laughs> drink, you put it in a little bit of juice, you drink it down. And again, so if somebody has like a horrible sleep issue, it's not going to work the first night because right. it's going to take to back off of those other things you know sometimes people take the craziest concoctions to they sleep do. probably not safe either to put them together but just, yeah if they're taking you know a specific I would just say like something like um Ambien for an example yeah and then stop that they you can't just stop that and expect no natural herbal, you know, amino acid supplement to work that next day. And so it does, it can take some time to reset your circadian rhythm. And I don't um, think people realize how dangerous Ambien can be. Ambien, you're not really supposed to be on, I think more than six months. And, you know, most people stay on it a longer period of time. And, you know, if you, if you want to get off of that, it's not, you can't just wean yourself off. You have to actually, a lot of people have to get medical help from their doctor to slowly wean themselves off because your body can shut down. That's how powerful it is. It's, you know, it's a, an addictive drug and people start to get codependent on that drug. And, you know, so you can't just like, you know, when you're taking a medication for sleep, you know, you have to really be careful what you're taking because those sleep medications, you know, that are prescribed to you are very strong. A lot of those, those drugs, and they, a lot of them are addictive as well. Absolutely. You are, you are spot on. And, and again, we want people to be safe. We want people to be healthy, yeah. but we want people to do it safely. Right. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I think I love these products. Like I, I, you know, I'm a, a testament to it. Like, you know, cause I, I've, I've had such great experiences with you theory and I love, you know, 
how all these things, you know, can help, especially during, like we mentioned during the holidays, but in stress in general, you know, these things can help with your stress level and help even, you know, lower the cortisol level. And, you know, so we don't, you know, cause you know, people do have trouble as we get older, you know, it's harder to lose weight, but if you have a high cortisol level, especially with today's stress in this world, you know, and you're trying to lose weight and your cortisol level is high and your metabolism isn't what it used to be because you're going through your change you know, as we get older, you're, you're getting frustrated. Why am I not losing weight? And, you know, some of these things could actually, I think, help, you know, in the process of maybe, you know, assistant in weight loss too, it seems. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even, even sleep, you know, without sleep, um, you know, we lose the ability, you know, that also has, can have an impact on gaining weight. Oh yeah. Um, you know, not having enough sleep. And then of course your immune system, you yeah. know, which we want everyone's immune system to really stay, stay at a really great level. Now we don't want people getting sick, right. Yeah. Especially around the holidays. Um, so a good night's sleep and, and some of these things are amazing. Um, there's one more item. Do we, let's see, we have the, well, we have the, I have the collagen. I do. Yeah. I so okay. the college, I have the, I, I, I was taking, actually, you have one that's in a white powdered form. I was taking the white powdered form and I like the white powdered form because you didn't taste it. Like I put it in my, in my, in my drink at night and, you know, I took it and I didn't even taste the, the collagen in the drink, which was great because sometimes I have taken in the past, I have tried other things and, you know, the, the taste, it's just like, you're like, you know, it's like you're biting your lip as you're drinking it. You know, some of those powders on the market could be pretty rough, you know, but with, with, the, with, uh, with the powdered one, um, I, you couldn't taste it. it. It just, you just drank it down and you couldn't taste it, but I haven't tried the, um, the collagen liquid. So maybe you could tell us a little about that. Sure. So that liquid is a little different than our collagen powders in that, well, first of all, it's a berry flavor. It's a really good flavor. It's zero sugar. So that's a great thing, but it still tastes good. And it's actually giving you providing 5,000 milligrams of hydrolyzed collagen peptides. And basically what that means is that when collagen's hydrolyzed, that's what you need. You want it in a small, small, small molecule size so it can absorb well into your body. That's right. the key. And that's how we formulate our collagen. But we also have Verisol collagen peptides in there. And we would call them a specialized form because they've done their own clinical studies. Okay. And it has five different clinical studies. One has to do with cellulite, which is kind oh, yeah. of always of interest to most people. Oh I yeah, think. for sure percentage of people that across, I think it's like 85% and we're talking, yeah. um, and you know, cellulite isn't just on your legs. It can be on your arms. It can be wherever, and you can be thin or you can be heavy, you know, you can, yeah. you can have both ends of that. But anyway, the cellulite studies took a little bit longer. They did them over three and six months, but just at 2,500 milligrams, which is what is included in there. And then really good studies around supporting reduction in fine lines and wrinkles, skin elasticity, you know, the other things collagen does increasing nail strength, you know, not having those brittle nails as yeah. you age, all the things you take college and you almost forget um, <laughs> that those things actually might happen to you Yeah, because other people are dealing with it. And it's like, I'm not dealing with it. Um, and then the other thing it also does is obviously helps support your internal structures because we do lose collagen like everything else at about a percent a year after our mid twenties. Yes, so. we do. And I don't think people realize how much collagen we have in our body, our, our body, even our heart, everything, you know, it, it we, we, we are run our whole, you know, I, I don't know the exact percentage off the top of my head, but a majority of our body is collagen and people don't realize it affects our skin. It affects our heart. It affects so many things in the body and you need collagen. It is so important. I think even the healing process, you know, if you're lacking, if you're getting, if you're getting a cut and it's lasting six weeks and then all of a sudden you see a scar and it didn't heal properly, well, your collagen level might be low, you know, and, and people don't realize that, but collagen is a major factor in good health and, and longevity. Don't you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can be proactive if you start taking it younger, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll keep making it but we'll make less and less. And like, you know, it has a big, you know, it, it's what makes our bones flexible. Right. So 
age, you know, people get brittle bone disease, you yes. know, and things related to like, uh, f- especially for women, you know, the loss of estrogen. And at the same time, we have about a third of a loss of our collagen. Right. And that's a large impact on just your bones. Oh, um, yeah. You know, the hair, skin and nails. I mean, it's 70% of your hair, uh, of yeah. your skin. It's not in your hair. So I don't know why it's, it's not in your hair. Keratin's in your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do have a product with keratin too, to help with hair. But anyway, um, the other thing that's so interesting is I think this is amazing. It's 90% of your cartilage. I mean, yeah. that's huge. I knew we were up there. I couldn't remember the exact percentage, but I knew like a good majority of our body, you know, the percentage wise was, you know, of collagen in our body was, was humongous. I knew it was up there, but I could not think of the percentage, but it's insane how much our body is collagen. People don't realize that. You hear all these people, even younger people, you know, the bone on, oh, I'm, my cartilage is gone. I'm yeah. already bone on bone. Yeah, and I, know. I go, oh, it's so awful. And a lot of that years ago was, you know, people were thinking they needed calcium, but yeah. then they did K2 and D3 and they needed collagen. They needed all of it. Right. You know, they are trying to be proactive, which is what I really like you think about you know younger people in their generation so you can grow up so you can age well yeah. you know you don't have to go through these things at younger ages and get hip replacements and knee replacements and ligament tears you know you hear yeah. about that all the time meniscus tears all those kinds of things from sports industry so it's it's really important for your body Oh yeah. My husband, he has a wellness clinic and people come in his office and they, you know, they're bone on bone. They can barely walk. And it's so sad. And, and, you know, my, my daughter, she had a friend who played soccer and in her young 20s, she had to go for hip replacement because of the injuries, you know, over the, you know, and so many people go for hip replacements. It's become the common in our society, but, you know, surgery is one of the worst things for you. Once they open you up and the oxygen hits your, your insides, your composition of your body starts to change. And people don't realize that they think because it's insured by insurance. Oh, we'll just get an operation and it will be all good. But then they don't realize that a lot of those operations only last for so many years and then the pain starts coming back and the problems start coming back so if you can prevent it or take care of it by using either supplements or doing preventive ways you know to help your body why not try that ahead of time you know and it you know it may it may help it may prevent things from occurring that didn't have to occur i 100 percent agree with you stacy <laughs> That's, that's the best way to do it. Right. Yeah. That's unfortunate for her being so young, by the way. Oh, I know. That's really unfortunate. So now, she can take collagen now to prevent it from happening to the rest. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to actually tell my daughter to tell her that, to make sure she realizes that, you know, it's, it's so important. People don't realize how, how important it is. And I love that you're a functional medicine. You're into functional medicine because I go to a functional medicine doctor and I, you know, one thing I love is that they do very thorough blood work. And, you know, that's the greatest way to find out what you're deficient in, because a lot of times people will buy things over the counter because they read on it and then automatically they think, oh, this will be good for me. Well, you might not need that. You might need actually something else that you didn't even realize that you're deficient in, you know, and it's, you know, by going for a blood test, by because uh, a functional doctor will not give you the same blood test that a primary doctor will give you. They will check you for everything and they will check just to make sure that they'll look at the numbers a little differently because they're going to try to see if they could prevent things that might happen that not necessarily will happen, but could happen before it actually happens. And so, you know, it's very important. Like I found out I was deficient in a lot of things that I had no clue, but once I started taking certain supplements and vitamins and I started incorporating different, different types of natural, what, you know, holistic living and putting everything together, I felt so much younger, so much energetic. It's like my life came back all of a sudden. And, you know, I think, you know, tell people a little about functional medicine and how it could benefit people. Cause I don't think everyone understands what functional medicine is and how beneficial it can be in people's lives. Yeah, sure. So I am just studying to be a functional medicine coach and I still have to finish the schooling. So yeah. I'm going to say I'm an expert, but I've been to functional medicine doctors. I mean, Dr. Mark Hyman is like the LART, you know, probably the best yes. way 
um, functional medicine doctor, but the key to functional medicine is they really look at the root cause of disease. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to when we go to the doctor and we're already sick yes. with whatever, whatever it may be, they're going to treat that symptomatically. A functional medicine doctor is going to go back into, or the coach, which is the area that I'm interested in. Yeah. Uh, just from a learning perspective, I love what I do. So I'm not yeah. in this industry to do that. But anyway, they can take a look at, you know, were you nursed as a baby? Were you bottle fed? What traumatic things happened in your past? What chemicals may you have been exposed to? What were your right. sleep patterns like? Like, so just it's, it's a much more well-rounded approach. And then, like you said, these extensive blood tests and they can do other tests as well, but the blood tests to, to really look at your levels of different things and see what, what your body actually needs, not just what you think you need. Right. I mean, I do naturally, you know, if we're, if we crave something, a lot of times they say, yeah, that's something missing from our body. That's our body's natural way, but they can really do that. Um, you know, with a little bit more science behind it. So yeah, glad to hear. I'm grateful to hear that you do that, that you see a functional medicine doctor. It actually, it's turned my, my health all around because when I was going, I, I went through menopause really early. I started at 39, which is really odd. I didn't even know what was happening to me. And so I went to a functional medicine doctor and they were able to see that I was going, I was in perimenopause and I was heading towards menopause and they were able to, you know, I went on hormone therapy, plus I was deficient in a bunch of vitamins and supplements. And I started doing all that combined with holistic living and my, within three months, I started feeling a, a huge change. And as, as time progressed, I felt better and better and better and better. So every time someone asks me how old I am, I say 21. And then the, <laughs> every year, every biological year, go, age. yeah, well, every year. biological age, you can get that tested. So I, <laughs> I agree, 21. <laughs> So, yeah, I think, I think functional medicine is really important. And, you know, I think I, I really, truly love all the vitamins that you have now. Is there anything that you'd like to maybe make some suggestions or maybe help people? Because like we said, you know, people go through a lot of stress in life, the holidays are coming and, you know, stress, 70% of stress cause illness. And, you know, people don't realize, but it breaks down the immune system. And, you know, once you break down the walls of the immune system, you kind of open yourself up to a lot of different illnesses. And, you know, you also make vitamins that help, you know, build the immune system up and, you know, but we need to really incorporate a way of living that's going to be helpful, no matter what we go through in life there are coping skills that could help us with stress. You know, everybody goes through stress. Everyone has a story to tell everybody, you know, we all have our ups and downs, but you have to learn how to cope with it in a productive manner, you know, or else it's going to get the best of you. So we have to kind of learn how to rise above the chaos and learn how to move forward. So do you have any suggestions on, on what you think could be helpful for people with coping with stress? I would just refer back to the ashwagandha in the capsules, you know, or the liquid. We have an ashwagandha where we've added pharmagaba to it. Mm -hmm. So that really helps to calm the mind. Right. Um, it works more on your GABA receptor system in your brain. Yes. Uh, similar to the way, um, you know, people take a pharmaceutical to work on that, but it's non, you know, it's non habit forming. It's, it's safe to take. Yeah. So that's another one that I would add. Um, you know, we have Shilajit, which I would love that would, could be a whole time of us talking together yeah. for men and women. This is, I, it, they are, I'm not sure if you can see them. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. I'd love, love it. It. And we have a black label and Shilajit is just like an all encompassing mineral pitch that comes from the Him Himalayan mountains. It's grown extensive interest, um, because of its traditional use and just, you know, as far as, you know, it has really great support with antioxidants. It's got, it's very high. We use a prime of E, which is standardized fulvic acid. Oh, over, really? 50, over 50% fulvic acid. And in there you're getting, you know, benefits for, um, so healthy aging, you know, they're using it in studies for dementia. It oh, helps really? 
plaque, the tau plaque that aggregates that can create, you know, that in your body. It is excellent for just producing energy in your body and cardiovascular function. It helps with synthesizing, increasing collagen. So if we can, uh, due to time, we could, yes, we could do another little piece. I would um, love to. I have not tried those, by the way, I would love to try those and, and actually learn more about it because I I have heard about it, but I have not, I don't know a lot about it and I have not tried it. So this would be a great way of, you know, because I don't think a lot of people actually have heard about it too. Cause you know, a a lot of people hear about the, the main stuff like melatonin, zinc, vitamin D, you know, all the, all the things, you know, that you, you know, magnesium, all the things you hear about on an everyday basis. But there are a lot of things that, you know, have come out that have, that have been here for thousands of years, but are starting to come out more because people are realizing the massive benefits that it could have. And now it's getting more exposure. It's always been there, but the exposure wasn't there. And now people are starting to realize that there are a lot of things out there that could actually help for various things that especially when it comes to dementia, you know, it, you know, so many people, you know, you know, have people they know or have family members who suffer dementia. And if there is a way that you could help your body to prevent it, you know, they they say do crossword puzzles, you know, do this, do that, keep your mind active. But if there is a supplement that you could actually take that we're not going to say is going to prevent it, but it possibility, the possibilities can be there why not try it? You know, why not protect yourself? You know, I always say, you know, it's better, it's it's better to, you know, try it and maybe improve your chances than not try it at all. You know, just like when you ask someone, someone to do something, the worst thing they could say is no. Well, it's the same thing with a supplement. You could try it. It may work. You don't know for sure, but it's not going to harm, you know, and if, you know, nobody wants to lose their mind, you know, or their memory. No, not at all. And and the other benefits for testosterone boosting, you know, helping people, couples wanting to have a baby. So it helps yeah. with men and women. So yeah, we could do a whole thing around that. Yeah. Um, and some of the other great items that we have to share with people. That would I be would fantastic. love that. I would make love sure it. you get some. Yes. So, uh, send it off the Sheila G. I, you know, I, I, this has been great and I, I just love your stuff. I love what you're doing. I commend you because your product is great. You know, I'll test to that because I've been using it for several years now and, you know, I've noticed the changes. That's why I wanted you on the show so bad because I, you know, it's, it's, it's nice when you have companies that really put a lot of effort, they test, they have signs back information, you know, evidence that these things actually work, you know, it's clinically tested and, and the product products are pure, you know, and, and organic and, you know, they're not, you know, they're, they're not like artificial and they don't have those fillers. And, you know, these are the products you want people to focus on because it, it, whatever we put in our body, if our body doesn't recognize it, it stores it. So if you're putting toxins in your body and your body can't recognize it, it's going to store it. And eventually it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to make your organs sluggish. It's going to make you feel sluggish. And you're like, well, I don't know. I'm taking all these supplements and vitamins and I, I'm feeling worse than I did before. Well, what kind are you taking? You know, it's so, it's, you know, eating right, taking the right foods, taking good vitamins and supplements, making sure everything you put in your mouth is good, you know, because it really takes a toll on the body more than people realize. Our bodies aren't meant to have all this artificial anything going in it, whether it's food, processed foods, things in vitamins, whatever it is, we're just not meant to do that. It doesn't know what to do with it. And that's why you're talking about the storage. So, well, I I thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. Oh, you're very welcome. Wonderful. Thank you so much for coming on. You, you've given us a wealth of information. I've enjoyed every moment. I can't wait to have you back. This is going to be very exciting to have you back on the show. You know, I, I think it's very important because I think, you know, people really have to be educated. And that's the problem is that, you know, people want to learn, but they don't know where to go. And on the internet, you find a lot of fake news and people sometimes can't, you know, they don't know that it's fake news because, you know, it, it's hard sometimes to, to tell the two, you know, if you're not in the medical field or if you're not in the health industry and, you know, people have to realize that if they're going to look at things in the, in, and they have to really re- realize where the resources are coming from, make sure 
that you know the resources are are standard they're 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 you know by medical doctors but they're by people in the medical field you know and you know it's it's really important that people educate themselves education is important so we can talk about this on a later date but thank you so much for coming on the show it's been thank wonderful so i've enjoyed this and i look forward to having you back thank you so much thank you and you have a great day you too